Hey, what's up guys and welcome to Tantanis channel. In today's video, it's a review of the new Wilson Blade 98 version 9, 16 by 19 that's just been released this week. I'm so excited about this racket because, you know, the Blade 98 is my racket of choice. And so far, I have play test almost every paint job of the Blade V8. So I hope I can get you a good review in this video. Okay, what's the update? Uh, actually, I don't care. I'm more of a guy who just, you know, go into a court and feel the difference myself. But, well, let's take a look. Okay, enhanced ability, uh, direct connect handle and replaceable grommet. That's all? Well, it doesn't seem to be many things. The new design, it comes in emerald green. No shifting color and it has a bit of a gimmick on the side of the racket. The little W here and the neon green grommet over there. Overall it looks good. For the spec it's almost the same as the previous generation but 62 RA vs 61 RA. Other than that it's the same. My first impression on this racket is not impressive. The first two hours with this racket, I was like, this is totally taking a step backward. The racket is so dampened. I thought Wilson said it's gonna have more feel, but no, it's not. It feels just worse. Now, I don't need a dampener at all because it's already in the frame. Less connection. I feel like the racket is so light and that swing weight should be below 315. It lacks plow and stability. Today is the second session that I play with this racket and I got a chance to measure the swing weight on this particular racket. And it comes at 311. What the heck? That's like 282 on strong swing weight, right? This is so bad, but you cannot expect anything worse from Wilson quality control, as many of you already know. I also measure another five random rackets at the shop and it comes at 284, 286, 288, 289, 294. So that's pretty much all over the place, even though it's just like five rackets. So I didn't bother doing more because the range gonna keep going wider and wider. Okay, now that I know that my racket has low swing weight, I added three gram of lead tape to the tip of the racket over here. You can see it here. Mainly to beef up the swing weight to 325 to match with my preference because my blade V7 and V8 are at 327 and 325. So it will be better to play test it like apple to apple. Otherwise the differences that I feel uh, between each one of them will be irrelevant. Back to the chord, after adding some lead to the hoop, now it plays more like what it is supposed to be. Feel is a lot better with a bit crispier than on its stock form. And I would say now the feel stands right in the middle between a V7 that is muted and a V8 that is more crisper, more uh, direct responsive. I think it's a bit firmer than both V7 and V8. Uh, I don't get that racket bend kind of feeling like those, but it's more dampened that it's more comfortable than the V8. To put it simple, I think Wilson take the newer frame, which is a bit firmer than the green V8, and put a dampening feel of V7 into it. That's the V9. On the playability, uh, I think it plays pretty similar to the V8. Spin and run angle are exactly the same. No extra spin whatsoever. Uh, the main differences are that the V9 is quite easier to play with than the V8. Basically, I think the string bed is not as firm, even though I strung it at the same uh, tension with the 2 by saw, uh, 46 pounds on the main, 44 pounds on the cross. I also play with Confidential 3.0 at 52 pounds, and it feels way looser than that. I don't know why, but because of this, the racket has larger sweet spot and it pops easier. I noticed it right away when I hit the first ball on my backhand because normally I struggle a lot on my backhand side with the V8 but now it pops way easier and then I can hit cleaner ball. Power is a bit more when hitting casually but when playing at full speed I think it plows the same. It just doesn't feel as raw as the V8. Stability is the same when you hit the sweet spot 
but when you hit off center, the impact to your arms are not as jarring and it feels a bit more stable as well. If you enjoyed this video so far, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. What I like about this new update. First, I think it's more user friendly and it doesn't require much effort to play with compared to the V8. And I think I can hit cleaner shots and doesn't need to focus as much on uh, the contact point and the timing. Thanks to better forgiveness the V9 has over the V8. But don't get me wrong, this is still a difficult racket that you need to do it right to pull off the racket full potential. Second, I think it's a bit more comfortable and more stable on off-center hit, as I said before. And it remains very maneuverable as usual as the normal blades. Third, I think the backhand slice on this racket is super solid. It's way better than the V8 in this department. I can keep it low and deep and I don't miss that much. It feels very natural to cut the ball and it's really sharp. Fourth, uh, the first serve remains strong and the ball is well put to the place that I want. Second serve is okay, I don't miss it that much and I can put some spin on the ball like normal. Now to what I don't like. First is the feel, as I said before. I was hoping that Wilson will make it feel more like a pro staff. Uh, basically, more direct and responsive. So people who are using a pro staff can switch to the blade. But no, they went in different direction. But same as other brands though, such as you know Head Speed or Peel Strike that tries to dampen their control racket line to make it more comfortable. Yonex is the only brand that goes against making racket that feels better. Second is the top spin and launch angle. Uh, it's exactly the same and I would prefer something with higher top spin, higher launch that can go well with my top spin ground strokes. This is the main issues that I have with the blade compared to other rackets. Third is the service return. I think it's the same as all the versions. Uh, which is not very strong compared to its competitors. Uh, we Core 98, uh, T5305, Percep 100D, just to name a few. Fourth is the defense. I feel like I got pushed over a lot, starting with not so good service return and on neutral shot and defensive. I think it's quite difficult to turn the game around to my offensive. In summary, I think this is a good update in terms of overall playability, but I believe that there will be people who like it and people who don't. Uh, people who like the V7 tend to like V9 more, while people who like the V8 probably has less possibility to like the V9. For me myself, will I switch to the V9 from the V8? Although it plays a bit better, I don't think I will switch to this. And why? Uh, because there are a few rackets out there that I can play better than the blade. But the V8 is the racket that somewhat a perfect compromise between performance and feel and maneuverability. So if the V9 doesn't feel as good, if it's more dampened, more muted, that is not my way. It's easier for me to consider switching to other rackets that I'm currently testing. You guys know what they are. Uh, who this racket is for? Uh, intermediate to advanced level baseliner who dictate a point from the baseline, basically. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.